Oh, things are happening, guys. I don't know what is happening. Who? Oh, we researched a trade platform. Hello, everybody. Grace still plays, and I'm here with a brand new game for the channel called Astroneer. No time for BS. I've been contacted by the developers for this. I've been speaking with them for over six months now about this game. This is something I was really looking forward to. Uh, way back when I was also looking forward to No Man's Sky, I played around a little bit with it. If I had to describe this game, it's kind of like a low-poly exploration sci-fi, very, very crafty, buildy exploration game. I don't know what I don't know what to call it. To me, it's kind of what No Man's Sky could have been if they developed the rest of the game a little bit more. You, you'll kind of get to see it in a little bit here. There's just a lot of really neat stuff to this game, and I love the art style. I never thought I would love the low-poly art style so much. This is the pre-alpha build that I'm in. It's not out yet. The game should be coming out tomorrow, December 16th. I'll be playing the PC version. I'll have links to the game in the description below. Definitely check it out if you're a fan of building style games with a exploration kind of survival feel to it. Let's go ahead and launch our guy here. Now, we're going to get put on a completely random planet, and kind of the idea is, is that we need to survive on this planet and then make our, uh, eventually make our way off of the planet to additional planets and continue to explore and explore and explore and find more out about the universe. Here we go, man. This is our planet. This is our little planet right here. Kind of a cool looking planet. Look at this. Got like a little bit of, oh, are those flurries? <laughs> we landed right in, <laughs> look at this. We landed right in a crater. Great. Now, this is okay, though, because inside of our little crater here, the one thing that we can do is utilize our shape terrain tool. So if we need to, we can kind of, like, meld down the planet a little bit. But what we're going to do probably right off the bat is we need resources, like, immediately. And I can already see some ahead of us. Let's go ahead and kind of make little stairs here for us so that getting out of here isn't quite such a chore. Now, the big issue is we're going to need power as well, and the power doesn't regenerate very quickly in the beginning until you make yourself some additional, like, power generation substances. Well, I see a lot of cool stuff in the distance. Like a very... How do I say it? It's like a very almost frosty-looking planet, I guess? Almost like a glacierous planet? Kind of interesting. What is this giant chunk? Look at this over here. This looks like a crashed pot or something. Now, you can access your backpack here. There's a lot of things that it does. First off, it creates, it has a little, like, creation area where you can make several items, and all of these things have very important uh, value to them. The power, obviously, will regenerate our power. You can see this right here. This is our oxygen bar. The problem in this game is oxygen. You need to uh, maintain your oxygen levels. And that's kind of like part of the survival aspect. And regaining the oxygen is done by kind of dropping down to our little tethered area over here where our original pod is. And the thing that we're going to need to do is create additional tethers and extend that pod. Um, but I'm really curious, kind of, are we allowed to collect this? Or like, I don't know. I was curious if we were like allowed to collect it or just, look at this over here. What is this over here? Man, there's all kinds of stuff. You can sprint with the shift key, which I guess is pretty traditional. We're definitely going to want to grab something called compound, though. There's a couple of different elements in this game. Um, well, there's all kinds of elements in this game. Right here, we're grabbing a bunch of resin, but we are going to need oxygen pretty fast. So, right off the bat, I can see one of the things that we're going to have to grab, like, super fast is going to be the compound, just so that we can make uh, additional tethers. And the tethers are going to be, like, epically important for extending our reach out from our base. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit more power here. You can see the the gravity on this planet is a little interesting, too. It's like a kind of like a low-gravity-style a low gravity style planet. Um, now, if you do, if you kind of click, well, not click, but if you hover over your guy, you get, like, a little compass, which is kind of nice. It shows you, like, the little directions that you can go in, which are going to be really, really useful for us. Um, you can also right click on the screen anywhere you can drag around you can scroll in and out for kind of like maximum viewability if you want Oh, is there something in there? It almost looks like there's something in here. Oh, there is look at this. There's a little bit of titanium in here Okay, that's good to know titanium is rare um, What can we do with the titanium? I know that we can do some things with it Let's go ahead. Do I need to pick this up with this or can I put it on my backpack? 
Um, yeah, yeah, we can. Okay, well, that's interesting. Okay, let's go see what we can do with titanium. Oh, you can make an extra tank. Ooh. Uh, yeah. I think that sounds like a good idea. Let's see here. We're going to go ahead and make this real quick. Gathering an extra oxygen tank, I can immediately see, is going to be epically useful. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Oh, there's an organic in there. Okay, so that's good to know. So you can find these little pods in here as well. Now, I never knew that. Um, there's a lot. Of, now, I'm gonna. I'm telling you guys right now, I'm learning about this game as I play. So you're kind of learning about the game, and I'm kind of learning about the game. We're doing this all together. Oh, I love this game so much. I'm going to fangirl about this game for quite some time. Uh, resin, we can do this to extend our base. So I do want to go ahead and do that. And you can see right there, the little base extender kind of came off. And then some more resin will allow you to build up like different portions of the base. So now that we're nice and full on our uh, our oxygen and our backup oxygen, let's go ahead and get out of here. This is going to be really, that's really good that we made it. Look at how cool that is. Look at the little sparkles in the background. I got to tell you something. That's the kind of stuff I love. I love like being able to play a game that doesn't have to have like amazing amazing graphics and it's still being this damn cool so let's get out of here let's find a nice uh let's find enough a nice compound deposit and let's go ahead and start pulling everything that we can now if you remember we have a lot more resin here and that's not a problem in fact you know what i'm gonna go ahead and collect the rest of this resin and then I'm going to go ahead and use this so that we can increase our base in a little bit. Let me go stop, find some compound, though. Okay, these white puffy balls over here that you kind of see, I don't really know how else to describe them. This is our compound. This is exactly what we're looking after. And you'll see, as you deform the ground, the the compound will appear. So it's almost like you're, you're mining. It's like the mining part of the game. And you can... And they did a little video about this. The game creators did a little video about this. There is no limit to how far you can go down in this game. You can dig to the core of the planet if you want to. That is so cool. Immediately, let's go make some solar panels. I'm probably going to want like two of these guys right off the bat. That When the daytime comes, that's going to allow our energy levels to really kind of stabilize. Oops. All right, let's go ahead and collect the rest of this compound because the compound is like very, very good for us and we're going to want it all the time. I can already see some of our oxygen levels starting to go down. I saw a little bit more compound there. You can see the ground, the type of the ground kind of changing too. What is this over here that we have? Ooh, our oxygen level starting to go down. Oh, wow. This is a big old chunk of compound over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, give it all to me, baby. I want all that compound. Okay. We need to head on back because our oxygen level is getting super, super low right now. Let's go ahead and do that, and I'm going to see if I can build up the base a little bit. All right, back at the base here, we should have enough resin to throw in here. There we go. And there we go. We got, like, a little extension on the base. Very cool. So let's check out a few of the things that we can kind of make here. Let me go ahead and pull this around so that we can see it's a little bit easier. So we've got a printer, a research station, a smelter, and a vehicle bay. Now, we need aluminum for the vehicle bay. And I'm pretty sure that the very first thing that we're going to have to make is this smelter. So let's go ahead and throw compounds in there and start this right off the bat. There we go. There's our compounds pulling up the smelter. Very cool. Uh, but now we need power for the smelter. And one of the things that we can make, I do believe, let's take a look over here. Oh, let's make some tethers right off the bat. Because we're going to need these to continue to extend our reach. Um, we've got some organic stuff over here. What do I want to do with this? We'll just kind of put the organic stuff over there for right now. You can kind of just like keep it around like this. Ah, a generator. That's going to be something that we're really going to want. I'm not sure what exactly a beacon does. Uh, we can probably check it out. I don't know. I guess I'll go ahead and make one. Like I said, there's still a lot about this game that I don't know yet. So here we go. There's a beacon. What does a beacon do? Beacon, what do you do? Can I put you somewhere? Oh. You create like a little, oh, I bet I know what it does. I assume what this does is it like can bring you to a place like you, you'll be able to see it in the distance. At least that's the idea. Now, I want to mention you guys too. inside this little crater that we have. There is all kinds of cool stuff in here. Look at this. We have like, I think this is more compound. There's some energy over here. This is actually a very valuable little crater that we landed on. Like this is really, really good. I am like super surprised that we managed to find this good stuff right off the bat. Anyway, let's go ahead and start placing these tethers. You see, you can place tether with a T. And remember those tethers, is that a cave system down there? Hold on. 
I thought I saw something down there. Okay, hold on. Let's um, let's place one tether right off the bat, kind of in our little our little like area that we've created over here. I, I appreciate that the tethers can go through the ground too. See how it's kind of like going through the landscape. Hold on. Let's check this out just real fast. Let me go ahead and grab a little bit of this. I'm always curious what you might find down here. Because you, you never freaking know, man. Look at how far you can dig, though. I love that ability that you can just dig as far as you'd like. Okay, so there's really nothing down there. Over here, I'm leaving so much material behind because there's so much to see in this game. Look at all this. I don't know if these are, like, rocks or just things or what. I guess they're just rocks. This over here, though is oxygen these little blue pebbles that you see there that's oxygen for us and very good to have let me go ahead and kind of like make another little a little area over here so that we can get out if we ever wanted to you can build your own steps in freaking astro here man you can build whatever you want get some more organic the organic is useful for when we get a generator going do you hear that oh look at this oh we got some weather coming in guys i think oh wow Oh, wow, it's coming really fast. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I don't know if this is a blizzard or what. Um, should I get inside for this? Oh, wow. Okay, maybe I will get inside for this. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and go in here. That'll save our game anyway. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now, maybe we're protected a little bit by being inside of, like, this kind of shelterous air. Oh, Oh, there's freaking hailstorms coming down up in here. Yes, but you can see the physics of the the physics of the landscape is protecting our base a little bit. Look, the the boulders are kind of like rolling off of the lands. I mean, they're still beating the living crap out of us. Oh, wow. So, this is another part of that survival aspect there, man. You got to survive the harsh environment of Astrodeer. <laughs> so cool. All right, I'm going to let this I'm going to let this kind of crazy storm blow over, and then we'll get out. We'll do some more stuff. Okay, the storm has passed, and I think what I want to kind of do is start heading out toward, like, this mountain over here. I don't really know what else to call it. Kind of looks like a mountain. Let's go ahead and start increasing our tethers here. Now, the tethers are, are kind of, like, very, very common in the game, so it's not, like, a big deal to just kind of, like, um like put them everywhere you can. Plus, you need them. Like, it, they're, they're in, totally integral to your survival, so... Uh, there's no reason not to have them. What is what is oh, I thought I saw something else down there All right, let's kind of continue toward this mountainside though. I want to oh that tether wasn't far enough Now you can pick them up and move them around too. That's the other thing So don't feel bad like if you make a tether and it's not totally where you wanted it. It's not a it's not even a big deal I, I, I ain't even mad man. It doesn't matter where you put these tethers. They're gonna be just fine. There we go Oh, we found an area look at this we found an area of oxygen, and it looks like power over here as well. I don't think I need all this oxygen, but I will go ahead and grab it, like, as we go down into the mountain, maybe. There's a lot of... Oh, there's a lot of stuff over here. Um, okay, real quick, let's go ahead. We're going to need more tethers for sure, so let's start on that. There's a wind vane. There's all kinds of stuff, man. Um, let's go ahead and make this right here. Now, I haven't checked out, but I kind of wonder if you can power the base now you can make generators as you saw but i also wonder if you can power your base through the wind vanes and the stuff like that i haven't messed with it yet so i guess we'll find out in a little bit let's go ahead and put down more tethers here oh, i wanted to mention too you don't have to just like dig you don't have to just like dig into the ground with stuff you can also flatten using the ctrl button like that right there see how we can fill in that little area and you can add with the out button so look we can build like little things i don't know like little pockets of stuff I'm kind of just digging into the side of this mountain just to see if, like, there might be something cool inside. I don't know, though. The only issue is, as well, is that inside of the mountain here, we don't have any access to getting um, power. Because, remember, our power right now is completely uh, based upon solar generation. So, let's go ahead and kind of dig around the mountain, I would say. Let's go over here. Okay, I found the cave opening for this mountain. There it is right over there. So let's go ahead and continue to extend. Oh, and there's the beacon right there. So that's exactly what a beacon does. It shows up as like a little thing on your uh, on your map area. Or not your map, I should say. Like you're just the global view. Um, oh, we are going to need more tethers. You always need more tethers. So that's why it's always good to have... I'm going to get rid of this organic for right now. It's just taking up space. That's why it's always good 
to have plenty of compound on you. Uh, let's go ahead and put another tether right over here. We want to get these tethers going out to the mouth of the cave. Because inside the cave, I would imagine... Oop, that tether's not close enough. Inside the cave is where you, I, I would imagine we're going to find our resources, uh, like the, the, med, the metallic resources that we're looking for. Now, I don't think that this is anything. I think that these are just little, like, stalactites and stuff like that. Let's see if there's anything else inside of this. We've got power in here. Let's go ahead and dig a little bit further and see if this cave goes down any deeper, though. All right, man, I've just been digging to see what I can see. You can see how far I went into this cave. Just to see if we could kind of find anything interesting. Now, I'm really curious. These lines on this cave, I'm really curious if that signifies that there is, like, ore. If you go further, like, far enough, if, if you continue to dig far enough inside of the cave. Um, oh, I got myself, like, a little bit stuck. But that's fine because you can kind of just mess with the environment as much as you want. So let's kind of continue to go around this mountainside, though. Right through here. Got some like little palm tree looking things over there. I'm still really interested. I still I'm really interested in finding some uh some ore, which is what I really want. Look at these little shelf things over here. That's kind of weird. Got some power over here to kind of regenerate our power stores, which is pretty damn useful. Oh wow, there is yet another cave system over here. Okay. Well, I guess we'll continue to extend our tethers. We got some hydrazine over here, too. I guess it's like a fuel source. Very cool. I'm not going to grab that right yet. Just because I want to see kind of some of the other stuff that we can find if we continue to go down the caves exploring. Let's go this way. I don't know, man. I really like caves. Like, I love surface exploring, too. But there's something about, like, the unknown when it comes to caves that I really like. Every time I see one, like, I just, I find myself having no choice but to check the, <laughs> but to check the freaking thing out. And kind of like see how far they go. Once again, more tethers is what we need. And in fact, I think this is our last chunk of compound. So I'm probably going to have to start looking for additional compound here in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and bring this down here. Oh, I can already see some things, which is good. This is the first time that we found anything kind of inside of one of these caves. Ooh, that is a freaky looking plant over there. Um, all right, I guess I'll take down some of the hydrazine here. Oh, yeah. Give me that hydrazine, boys. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's what I'm talking about. We also have quite a bit of power in here as well. Um, in fact, since we have this power, I'm going to go ahead and grab it because that's going to allow us to, um, like, utilize this thing more. Oh, what in the holy hell is this a research? I saw the word research on. Is it on this thing? How would I even grab this? Look at the size of this creature. Oh, it's behind it. <laughs> I think it's behind it. I don't know. Um, wow, this is a this is much bigger than I had previously anticipated this particular cave. Uh, okay. Let's continue to put our things down. These tethers are not just good for energy and oxygen. They're also good for light. Uh, if you notice, they're creating like a big old light source here for us, which is whoa. I was like, I don't know what I was doing there. I was like skiing or something. Very <laughs> Very interesting. I don't know what that was. Now, remember, this is a pre-alpha build. So we may come across a couple of bugs and stuff like that. But I'm not really too worried about it. Oh, God. What in the world have we found here? Wow. How deep does that rabbit hole go? Um, oh, it goes pretty damn deep. Uh, okay. Well, what I'm going to do is put a tether right on the edge of that. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up some of this power real quick. Oh, wow, we have so much power. We are, like, powered out right now. Let's go back over here. And, okay, that is what it was. This is a research entity, and it's something that we can grab and eventually research. I'm going to kind of leave it there. Now, you can't, you can't put this in your backpack. Like, I can't, like, shove it inside of my backpack. It's just too big. But that's what we need a research facility for, which we don't have right now. What is, is this, um trying to remember if this is is this the the hydrazine i believe go ahead and grab a little bit of this as well i what i really want to find if at all possible is i'd like to what in the holy hell is that back there all right hold on let me see if i can oh you know what let's um let's kind of level out the landscape a little bit and that'll help us move there we go see that right there there we can make a little bit of a bridge 
No big deal. There we go. We can get right across that with no issues. Oh, yeah. Wow, there is all kinds of stuff over here. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm guessing that's some sort of plant entity or something. I'm not really sure. There's more hydrazine. Ooh, more compound. Oh, it's like it almost sounded squishy in here. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, we just got killed by something. I don't know. Did we step on something evil? What was that? Oh, man. All right, we're going to have to find our body. We need to find it because we had a bunch of cool stuff on us. All right, let me get back there and try and find out what that was that killed us. I'm not exactly sure if that was like a creature. I'm not used to there being um, anything violent in the game yet that I've found. Ooh. It's just more, more like terrain stuffs over there. Very interesting. I'm going to run as fast as I can, as fast as my my stubby little astroneer legs will take me so that we can get back down into this cave and pick up our body. And I need to make sure while I'm picking up my body that I don't, like, chain die again because that would be a ginormous problem. I found out what killed us. There's, like, a little creature over there. It's shooting at us. What I had to do was I had to build this little mound over here to kind of, like, protect me. I don't know if we have any sort of, like, defensive capabilities right now. I don't think that we do. Um, but I went ahead and got my body and everything like that, so everything's fine now. But, uh, huh, how do you like that? So there is, like, kind of dangerous stuff in this game. Oh, I also found, in fact, I'll go ahead over here and grab it real quick while I remember it. I also found another item for us to, uh, research right over here, if you notice. This little thing right over here. Let's go ahead and, uh, bring it bring it by the rest of the research stuff that you have now you're gonna notice while you're gather while you're like carrying something research worthy you are like super super slow i guess that's just supposed to be like because of the sheer weight of it i'm gonna go ahead and put that over there now it's telling me that there's more like stuff on my body over here i think it's just because in fact let me go over here real quick and just see what there is we have a lot of let's see we have a lot of power on us right now I think that there's just like a couple of like things that were left on my body over here maybe oh there's like some additional power um that's fine i guess i'll i guess i can put that on me or something i don't know i'll just like leave it i'm just gonna leave it there for right now it's really not a big deal you can see though as you get close to your body and like you click on it it allows you to select the um the backpack for your body so that's like a cool easy way for you to like get a bunch of stuff so that's kind of neat Oh, we found another piece of, uh, of researchable stuff. What the hell is this? It looks like some sort of freaky head. I don't even know what that would be. Um, that's really weird. So this is kind of like becoming like our little home away from home over here. You know what I want to do though? Let's go ahead and bring one of these things back and get it researched just to see like what it does, if anything. I still want to find ore and think, oh, oh, holy crap. It got like pretty dark outside. Um, I still want to find, like, ore and stuff like that so that we can build our, um, build, like, a vehicle bay and things like that because we're going to want that. Oh, you can see stuff from super far away at night. The little glowing, the little glowing resources, like the power over there. That's really cool. And so what do you think of our planet, though? Our planet looks pretty cool. Little, I don't know, it's kind of like sparse vegetation in the area. I really like, like, the little snowflakes and stuff that we get around here, though. I like that portion of it. I'm a huge fan of of snowy environments and it kind of feels snowy i don't know it's weird it almost feels like lush snow <laughs> but uh ooh, this is uh one of those big big ravines there let's kind of go around this just because it'll be a pain in the in the, in the freaking ass if we fall down into it there we go bunch of energy over there as well we're connected back to our tether which is excellent because now we're not going to die horribly uh, while we're here, we can go ahead and save real quick. I don't know, like, what exactly saving does yet. Um, so, now there's no power right now on the smelter. And like I said, I think that we remedy that. Well, you can remedy it with energy, I imagine. But let's go over here and extend this. Ooh, let's take our, let's take our research buddy over here who's, like, sitting around doing nothing. Uh, oh, I don't want to do that. Hold on. That is not what I wanted to do. I want to do this. Oh, okay, we only have one piece of resin right now. Let's go see if we can find more resin real quick so that we can build up that research and get some researching done. Oh, yeah. 
Give me that resin, baby. Give me all that sweet resin. In fact, I want as much resin as we can handle because the resin is like so valuable when it comes to just building and things. In fact, we haven't really gone this direction that much. I guess I'll just check over here just to see if there's anything cool. Man, there is like cave systems all around us. Holy crap. Look at that. There's another mountain over there. I think we've got a bunch of compound over here as well. I certainly don't mind grabbing that at the very least. Oh, wow. We are, we are getting a ton of compound. We have so much compound, we can't carry it all. And, ooh, there is something down in this cave as well. Ugh. Oh, caves everywhere. Real quick, though, I said I was going to get some research done, so let's go do that real quick. All right, so over here, we're going to put our final piece of resin in. That'll go ahead and eat that. And from there... Uh, what do we want? We want... Let me go ahead and take a look here. Ah, uh, here we go. We want a research facility. And we need more compound for this, huh? Okay, so let's go check out our... Ooh, uh, Oh, hey, ho, oh, there we go. Okay, let's go check out our backpack real quick. Um, we have a bunch of hydrazine, which we don't need. I'm gonna go ahead and leave all this here. Now, I don't know if you leave it on the ground, if things will be just fine. I think they will. We'll just put this in this little pocket over here be because we can. Okay, so we need more compound to get this research facility online. Let me go ahead and grab some more compound. If I remember correctly, there was a bunch over this way. In fact, do we have any tethers left? Uh, yeah, we kind of do. Let's go ahead and make some tethers out in this direction. Oh, we found aluminum as well. Okay, so the giant ball structures are aluminum, apparently. We're going to have to remember that. Um, What is happening here? It almost looks like I was... Like, something stuck on me. Look at how, like, I am, like, depleting, almost. Oh, it's because I'm hauling the aluminum. That's interesting. Oh, wow. The aluminum is pretty, pretty damn heavy, to be quite honest. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember that. Um, that's fine, though. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of this oxygen. Because this way we're not gonna have oxygen problems being kind of far out from our, our little base of operations. Do we have any? I am very specifically looking for, I think that's resin down there. I do believe. We're looking for compound though. Very specifically we want compound. There we go, found a little compound deposit right over here. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, it's so cool that, that if you want to... You can just dig into the ground and, like, make your little discoveries that way. Wow, there's a lot of compound that was hiding around in these little pockets here. Look, there's even more over here. Holy crap. Um, okay, so we've got a bunch of compound now. That's pretty damn good. Uh, what I'd probably like to do is... We're probably going to want to bring back some of that aluminum, too, so we can start smelting it. Because... I'm pretty sure that the aluminum is going to be integral in, like, a lot of our different, uh, like, vehicular things that we're going to want to do. So it's awesome that we have a deposit right next to us. Hi, Resin. I'm going to grab you as well. We got to get close, though, to our oxygen over here because the oxygen is getting kind of low. You can see right there, 25%. All right, good. We are here. We can put the compound in, make the old research facility. Do it to it, research facility. And poop, there it is. Yes. Put our little guy right here, and now we need some power. So, we've got a lot of energy on us. We can probably do that if we wanted to. We can put it right in there. That'll kind of fill it up a little bit. Yeah, right over there. You can see the energy kind of feeding into it. Let's see here, though. What else can we make? We would need copper for a generator. And we need aluminum for the wind vane. Okay, so that's cool. So, that's what we need there. Now, other things that you can do for energy... Um, oh, this is a fuel source as well. The hydrazine. I had forgotten all about that. Can we shove that? Hold on. Can we shove that in here? Let me see. Huh, we can put the hydrazine on this over here. That's very, very curious. Um, okay, let's get a little bit more power so that we can power this thing all the way up. We happen to have, if you remember, our little power tree right over here. Oh, uh, we're growing power up in these parts, boys. That's what I like to see. All right, let's go ahead and grab the rest of this little power here. That should give us a decent chunk. Actually, that should give us a couple of chunks of power. There we go. Head back on down here real quick. And we're going to go ahead and stick this little power in here. And that should give us enough energy. Let me go ahead and put that on the ground, I guess. There we go. And that'll fill her up. Yes! And now we've got power going to the different portions of the base. Excellent. You can see it kind of blowing through here. And the research has commenced. Or the research is commencing. There we go. Yes. Figure it out. What is it? What is this creature? 
Oh, things are happening, guys. I don't know. What is happening? Ooh. Oh, we researched a trade platform. Okay. Uh. Yay? How do you make that? Oh, I imagine that's something that you can make from the base. A trade platform. Holy crap. Okay, so there is a lot more to this game than I had previously anticipated. All right, guys, that's going to be it for right now for Astroneer. Wow, we got to look at some caves, we got to build up our base a little bit, and now we have the ability to make a trade platform? Uh, I don't know how to make it, I would assume. We're gonna have to burrow the rest of this area out. Hold on a second. Can we... Can we lift our base up? Uh, no we can't. Okay, so the area around your base is completely immutable. You can't move it. So we're going to have to burrow all this out to make a much nicer base area for us. Guys, hope you're enjoying Astroneer. There's still so much more for us to do. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.